So I heard this great story on the Moth Radio Hour on NPR, and it was about how a soccer ball changed this guy's life. I thought it was a great analogy for how socialism can change everybody's lives for the better, and I'll explain here. Um, basically, he won a soccer ball from Coca-Cola. So for the capitalists out there, you can hang your hat on that, that Coca-Cola provided the soccer ball. But in his village, they only had uh, balls made out of banana leaves and rags, and they didn't have any soccer balls. So when he had a soccer ball, it was a very prized possession, made him like a celebrity, and people from uh, a school a few miles away, uh, a few kilometers away, came by to borrow his soccer ball for their field day. He ended up trading that for admission into the school and, you know, started a, a life of education that he previously wouldn't have had because um, he was growing up as a farmer. And a lot of the other kids had to were forced to work in mines, um, and so he was able to go to school instead. There's so many things in this story that make me think socialism, like school for everybody would be great, great socialist thing to have. Um, soccer balls for everybody that wants them, or things that really aren't that expensive that can change people's lives would be a great focus, in addition to all the big things that government can do. When they talk about spending all this big money, you think about how much little things could make a huge difference to people that really need them if that was our focus um, as well as big projects. So one thing that it put in perspective for me was hearing about the infrastructure bill spending uh, 20 million or 20, 20 billion dollars to jump start funding for green energy projects, which is great. They were expecting it to attract a lot more private investment as well. So a lot of money, but compare that to we spend 168 billion a year on pets in America, which is great. I love our pets. I do, you know, my share of that as well. It's been probably a couple hundred, three hundred dollars a year on my pets. Um, as pets that live here, cat and dog and a lizard. But uh, and it's great that we do that. It's great that we can spend that much on pets. But it puts things in perspective to have that reference point: 168 billion we spend on our pets, and 20 billion they're going to spend on green energy, which is an eighth of that. And the 168 billion is an eighth of what they say the world spends annually on climate change, one and a half trillion dollars. And we need to do more all around. But so much more can be done by unlocking the potential of people um, at every level, especially at the grassroots level or at the ground level, um, where a soccer ball can make a huge difference. And if we realized that and focused on that, and instead of giving big breaks to billionaires and stuff, just did things for people, the world would become such a better place. And we can do that with socialism, just like education for everybody is a socialist type goal and it's great that you know capitalism got to play the part of jump starting it with a soccer ball in this case but everything else we need is socialism and we can get you know soccer balls that way too but um that's about all they do in this about all capitalism does in this story where community and helping each other and being able to do something make something out of little is what works for everybody.